Youngistan looks at scheming politicians driven by a greed for power and who try to pull the rug from under the feet. While American director Darren Aronofsky's Noah is a biblical film starring Russell Crowe. Well, thank God it's Friday and our entertainment editor Rohit Khilani is here to tell you which film to catch at the cinemas. Listen in. Hello everyone, it's movie review time. I'm Rohit Khilani. I help you choose your movie of the week starting with the Hollywood release Noah starring Russell Crowe, Emma Watson, Anthony Hopkins. It begins. Noah is not just a challenging film for those who will be watching it, for those who made it, for the actor director, but for all those who will be reviewing it. American director Darren Aronofsky, who's made critically acclaimed films in the past, like The Wrestler, The Black Swan, has made this biblic film which stars Russell Crowe in the lead role. That's the title role of the movie called Noah. The role was apparently offered to Christian Bale in the past, but he turned it down. Any film made on sections of the Bible will have to be sensitively handled, and there's no doubt Aronofsky's intentions were clear, and so was his execution. My father said that one day, if man continued in his way, he's... the creator would annihilate this world. Though he did take some cinematic liberties, but as long as he did nothing wrong, he stuck to the plot of the film and the theme of the film, no one's complaining. In some parts, Noah is bizarre, while in some, it's just majestic. A great flood is coming. We build a vessel to survive the storm. The fact is that Russell Crowe was the best thing to happen to this film. He looks confident, tough, brave, everything that you expect from a heroic character like Noah. The film begins with the hero who travels with his family, the last descendants of the Adam's third son, in a world dominated by the sinful descendants of Cain. What do you want? You don't know your king. There isn't anything for you here. I have made up my back. Can you stand alone and defy me? I'm not alone. Some scenes in Noir really touch your heart. Like every time he saves the animals and small creatures, he says, small piece of creation, be lost forever. It's our job to look after them. He takes years to build a massive ark that will protect his family and that will stay afloat against the spite of the creator. There's a lot happening till the ark door is open, but once it closes, the film is quite predictable. It's the end of everything. A lot of it seems believable because of the performance by Russell Crowe, though the gorgeous Emma Watson as a young woman whose inability to conceive makes her an odd match for Noah's eldest son is a pleasure to watch. Noah is a very ambitious project and a good one. You should watch this because it's a serious film. If you enjoy one of those films that you want to go watch in the theatre, you want to come back, discuss with your friends, this is the right one. Four stars out of five for Noah. Come on, man. I'm the Prime Minister of this country. Bolo catch you. Shah Rukh Khan. Come on, man. I thought you were the Prime Minister of this country. Now, moving on to the Bollywood release of the week called Youngistan. Filmmaker Saeed Ahmed Afzal's debut film, Youngistan, is a love story with Indian politics as the backdrop. Abhimanyu Kaul, that's Jackie Bagnani, lives in Japan with his girlfriend Anvita, starring Neha Sharma. He makes video games for a living, and that's what he does and enjoys his life. Soon life takes a drastic turn when you see Abhimanyu Kaul sitting by his father in an ICU. His father, played by Bama Nirani, happens to be the Prime Minister of India and after his demise, the party thinks Abhimanyu is the best bet to run the party. Everything seems too far-fetched, but done in a smooth way so that you don't get bored at all. I, Abhimanyu Kaul, do swear in the name of God as Prime Minister for the Union. But what he finds tough is to handle the media coverage of his living relationship with his partner. He's labelled as a good boy Prime Minister. Anvita is seen cribbing and sulking most of the time, throwing tantrums because she can't live a normal life anymore. Some scenes are actually funny when you see the Prime Minister of India along with his girlfriend on the streets of Delhi in the middle of the night having kulfi. That was quite funny. What's hard to believe is that someone with no experience was selected for the most important role in the country. It's a light-hearted film and not to be taken too seriously. If we enjoyed Anil Kapoor's Nayak in 2001 where he becomes the chief minister for one day and changes a lot of things, this is not unbelievable. 
power bhi chine. Jackie Bagnani performs well. The female lead Neha Sharma doesn't fit too well and is not convincing. Best performance is by actor Farooq Sheikh who passed away after shooting Youngestan. He plays the secretary to the prime minister in this film. Darasal, your problem is that you don't stay in one place. The film is really watchable because it's shot in a very cool way. Bhatt's favorite Jeet Ganguly and some other music directors have given some melodious numbers that of course add a lot of value. The target audience of Youngestan is the youth and for them it will be an enjoyable ride. Three and a half stars out of five for Youngestan.